me, the ATV is really important in, uh, in my grazing operation. Um, so basically from April until uh, snow flies in the fall, I'm on the four-wheeler every day constantly moving the cows, moving fences. Hi, I'm Kevin Yonke. Uh, I operate this farm with uh, my wife Mary and three sons, Jacob, Tyler, and Kieran. Uh, the farm's been in our family for uh, over 100 years, uh, so we are what uh, is referred to as a grass-based seasonal organic dairy. So over the years I've developed kind of a one-size-fits-all unit that, that uh, from, the, from morning to night, it basically has everything I need on it for the whole day. Um, so I've got uh, this holder and the kind of the concept is kind of based off like a three-point hitch off of a tractor except it's a two-point hitch. Um, I've got uh, a set of pipes put on the tractor that, uh, that accept, accept these attachments that I made. So this is the attachment for my fencing. Um, it holds all of my portable fence posts, uh, reels. I keep a few uh, steel rod posts on here. Um, a machete for trimming brush out of the fence rows and things like that. And I also keep two toolboxes. Uh, the steel toolbox is a repair kit for all of my water lines. I've got water lines um, run over the entire length of my whole farm, probably two or three miles of water line, and you get leaks on occasion. So I've got fittings, faucets, hose clamps, everything that, you know, if I'm out in the middle of nowhere and I encounter a leak, I just open up the toolbox and fix it. And then the same thing for the electric fencing. I just carry a little toolbox full of various insulators um, to cover whatever kind of thing you're gonna happen across during the day. Um, so the the fencing is the you know the biggest thing that I keep on the four wheeler. Uh, but in addition to that, um, I also have a calf mover. So in the spring, all of my cows are wintered outside. Most of them calve outside, so when it's time to bring a calf home, this is the calf holder. Uh, their head comes up here, their two legs drop down, their belly hangs on this, on this uh, it's an old uh, piece of belting from a, a round baler. Um, the really cool thing about this is that when you put a calf in here and you start to drive away, even if it's a first calf heifer, she just instinctively follows that calf because the calf's feet are just a little bit off the ground and the, and the cow just thinks that the calf is moving away. You know, versus if you carry a calf or lay it on your lap with a four-wheeler, in the cow's mind that calf just disappears and she, she, she'll want to go back to where she had the calf. So by putting the calves in here, I can lead a cow home from anywhere on my farm, bring them back, get the cow in the barn, um, get the calf in the calf building, and it works great. Um, so this is a really, really handy tool. I think there's, you know, a few maybe patents around there, but, you know, I just kind of saw this one and that one and kind of come up with my own plan and um, works good. And uh, let's see, I've got another attachment. Like if I'm hauling uh, kelp, and, kelp and mineral out to my feeders, it'll hold a couple of five gallon buckets. So I've got another attachment um, that'll hold four buckets. I've got another attachment that I can unroll barbed wire with or, or rolls of wire. So you're pretty much limited to your imagination as far as what, what you want to make to put on the back of here, but these are the three main things that I use the most.